keratosis pilaris is when you get a pore filled with skin and it almost looks like a pimple. It's red, it sticks out, okay, and it's a little rashy looking. But what's, what it is is a pore filled with dead skin and it's red. Now people, this may start early in life. Some people get it at three and four years of age. Okay, normally at that age, I, when I see it, it's usually on the face. As people get a little older, it seems to be more on the back of the arms. But I've also had patients who had it on their face, arms, and legs. Okay, so for some reason, their skin produces the oil, the oil and the skin gets trapped into the pores. Now, what you have to do is you have to use something to try to clean out these pores. What I normally do, let's take for the back of the arms. I'll normally use something like our toning pads, pH toning pads, or the chemical glycolic TCA pads on the back of the arms to try to clean out those pores. Now, oftentimes, if people get a little irritation from it, I may add a little cortisone cream and a moisturizer. And sometimes I'll use an oily moisturizer to try to soften out those scaly, scaly lesions that are stuck in the pore. So basically the treatment for it is you gotta clean the pore out and try to add something afterwards to either get rid of irritation or moisturize it or help get rid of the redness. Because sometimes if you moisturize that pore, it sometimes helps get rid of it. You have to work with the patient to see which one it is. Now, for people watching this, if that's what you have, I would recommend you start off with either our pH toning pads or our glycolic TCA chemical peel pads first to use at night and then use a, our moisturizer in the morning. That may be enough, it may not be. You have to work with it from there and maybe get stronger. I've used Retin-A for this, real Retin-A, not Retinol. Retinol is of no value for anything. It's only Retin-A that I like, along with other sometimes steroid ointments to use in the morning, depending on how bad it is. And for people, I have one patient that had all over her face, and arms, and body. And for her, I used Accutane pills to try to clean out the pores. And sometimes I've had to give cortisone shots. So it really depends on the severity and what you need to use.